And you'll find that because you're a part of Disney, the people you talk with will expect you to be just as helpful, just as knowledgeable as the hosts and hostesses that they've dealt with at the theme parks. Look at it this way. For that person who calls you with a question, you are the Disney Channel. You can even take it one step further. For him or her, you are Disney. Now, during our visit today, we'll be doing our best to give you all the tools you need to represent the Disney Channel in your community. You'll meet the president of the channel, visit with a programming executive, see some of our programming, and join in a special Disney Channel quiz. Oh, and speaking of the quiz, I'd like you to compete in it too. And it's very easy. All the information that you'll need to get an A is in this tape. To tell you the truth, we'll give you the answers. All you have to do is take the quiz sheets that your supervisor has, fill them out, and send them to me. And if you get all of the questions, or even most of the questions right, I'll send you your very own gold and enamel Mickey Mouse keychain. But let's get back to the Disney Channel itself. The best way for you to get an idea of what this exciting new pay TV service is all about is for you to join me in watching this short film. This is the dawn of a new era for cable television. This year, the Disney Channel arrives on the scene. Here comes the new reality, the family fun mentality that lacks conventionality. On Disney today, on Disney tonight, coming your way at the speed of light. Now we're gonna treat you right by satellite. The wonderful Disney Film Library is just part of the picture. The Disney Channel will also present an enriching lineup of brand new hits. That's pretty good. Imagineers are creating a wide range of innovations for the whole family. New Puppetronics. Let's change places, if you agree. We'll change places, I'll be you, you be me. New Epcot-inspired shows. New adventures in science and nature. New dramatic series. The new Disney Channel magazine. A cut-out, fill-in, play-along adventure all its own. 
featured monthly as a big part of our approach to interactive programming. A unique Disney concept that makes this the Do It Together channel. Plus acclaimed feature films from around the world, specially selected for family viewing. I got a story that's gonna knock your socks off. That's me. Gosh. I'm a cute little fella, aren't I? At last, there's a place for grown-ups and kids to share quality viewing time together. And the Disney Channel is that place. Disney Channel. Everything you've ever imagined and more. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And now that you have a general overview of the Disney Channel, it's time to get into some specifics. And the best way to do this is to spend a few minutes with the man who's responsible for the look and feel of the channel. So let's join him as he's interviewed on Cable Choices. The president of the Disney Channel, Jim Jumiro. If Walt Disney were alive today, what would he be saying about the Disney Channel? Well, I think he'd be very excited about it. Walt, uh, as you know, was an innovator. He was always uh, a man who had a tremendous curiosity about things and really liked uh, to take new adventures. He was, uh, for instance, the first uh, motion picture studio to get into television in the early 1950s when a lot of motion picture studios were avoiding it. So I think that uh, he'd have been excited about the idea of using satellites to communicate. And I, I, I'm certain that uh, if Walt were here, would have a Disney Channel, uh, probably a lot like the one we have today. I think he'd have, been, again, been in the forefront of a new way of uh, communicating with people. What makes the Disney Channel unique from some other channels that do carry some programming for families? Well, uh, specifically it's unique, uh, statistically, because it will be a totally non-duplicated service. That is, uh, that the movies and the original programming and the, uh, uh, the other programming that you'll find on the Disney Channel will be almost entirely non-duplicated uh, on other pay services or other cable services, so that when people get the Disney Channel, they're getting programming that literally uh, they can't get anywhere else. But I think aside from that quantitative difference, mm -hmm. uh, Lucy, there's also really the issue of, of, of the philosophy of the channel. I mean, it is a it is a 16-hour-a-day service that is totally committed to uh, uh, programming uh, that's for the entire family, of programming that has uh, an undercurrent of positive values, of an optimistic view of the world, and uh, really a sense of, of, of the spirit of uh, that I think has been exemplified in Disney through other through our theme parks and, and, and other Disney activities all will be embodied into the programming on the Disney Channel. When you say it's for the family, do you mean that every, any hour of the day a child can watch the TV and not see violent programming? Yes, uh, that's an absolute. We want to make sure that, that if inadvertently, uh, as you suggest, at any time of the day uh, a child turns on the television set, uh, and watches the Disney Channel without his parents knowing it, that, that, that there won't be any possibility of something happening that the parent wouldn't want to happen. 
Uh, I want to quickly state, however, that that doesn't mean that we don't have programming uh, that, is, uh, that, that is not right for grown-ups. Uh, the Disney Channel is a family channel, and there are lots of programming, lots of programs on the channel that, uh, that, that uh, people of all ages uh, will enjoy, either alone or with other members of the family. Name some of those. Well, our movies, for instance, uh, you know, Disney movies, uh, uh, like our new movie Tron, uh, uh, like uh, Tex and uh, Old Yeller and other of our Disney movies, some of our animated classics like Dumbo, those uh, through the years in theaters have been enjoyed by uh, people of all ages. Uh, uh, our True Life Adventures certainly have a tremendous uh, adult as well as a child following. How many movies do you have a week on Disney? We have uh, 28 movie slots a week. Uh, so that while the Disney Channel has a lot of non-movie programming, obviously for people that, quote, want to go to the movies in their own home, there's more than ample opportunity to do it. And we have the typical slots. We have a morning movie, a matinee, and then two evening motion pictures, and then uh, even one more than that on the weekend. So uh, we've got these anchor movie slots that uh, give people that experience, and then around those, uh, many, many hours of our new and programming and other programming from the uh, Disney Library. What if we miss a movie that's showing at night? Will we see it again during the month? Yes, uh, and, and, and I think we've done a, a, a studious job of, wor of worrying about that scheduling problem in, in that uh, we know that pay television subscribers want an opportunity to see uh, the, the best material on a channel uh, at their convenience. So a movie like Dumbo, as an example, or Alice in Wonderland or Mary Poppins, uh, and movies of that uh, genre with their, that are obviously very uh, important to people will be shown uh, days and evenings and afternoons and weekends so that people have an ap uh, ample opportunity to see them. Jim, you mentioned earlier that you've done a lot of research on the Disney Channel. Uh, what did you find out from people? What, what were their needs that you saw? Well, first I should say the research was very encouraging. The tremendous level of receptivity among families for something like the Disney Channel was very, very high. And, the exciting thing to us in terms of the opportunity that it gives us to serve people is that they seem to want a lot of different things from us. Uh, people know that they can be entertained by Disney and they want to laugh and maybe, you know, have a joyful tear or something like that. And they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of that, the, the, you know, the poignancy of some of our movies. But we find that people also identify us with the enrichment in their lives. They identify us with a way to, in an entertaining way, perhaps educate people or give them something of value. They want that from us. And, and we're prepared to give that to them so that in addition to the wide uh, range of entertainment on the channel, which obviously is important, uh, we are creating programs and have programs for young people uh, that will have values that maybe will enable them to feel better about themselves or each other or about their families and uh, uplifting, enriching programs for all members of the family so that the, 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 the challenge we have on the channel is very broad because people have a broad sense of what they want from Disney what they get from us uh, through our theme parks and so forth. And I think the channel will have that, uh, that breadth. Epcot Center is, is one of the latest and greatest of the Disney mm -hmm. ventures. Are you going to have that on the Disney Channel? Yes. Uh, as you suggest, Epcot Center has been uh, successful even beyond our dreams. And it's a, along with Walt Disney World in Florida, the number one destination resort in the world. More people go there than any other place in the world. And uh, we are doing two shows on our initial, initial schedule from Epcot, Epcot mm -hmm. Magazine, which is a daily show, and uh, another show that's weekly called Epcot's America, America. In both of these cases, uh, all the excitement and the dynamism and the interesting people and the ideas and the values that we've embodied in that place in Florida mm -hmm. will be packaged together and brought into, into the homes of our viewers so that what you really have is an opportunity and in, in a way to vicariously uh, visit Epcot every day. Uh, and we think that that's a tremendous resource uh, for the channel and a unique one uh, and one that I think will be very exciting for people. Okay, Jim, I'm really excited about this special thing that we have for our subscribers because of what you're doing. It's called the Disney Channel Magazine and it's the first time any of our services have uh, produced an actual guide solely on the channel. So would you uh, take me through the magazine? Yeah, we're, we're excited about it too. It's a it's a 32-page, uh, full-color, uh, full-size magazine that uh, will be given free to every subscriber as part of the service. Mm -hmm. And our thought here, and uh, frankly, we're spending quite a bit of money on this magazine, but our thought here really uh, is to enhance the value of the service, to, to, uh, to give people something special and something in addition to just that 16-hour day of programming. So this magazine, in addition to having 
all the background articles on the programming and listings and exciting full-color pictures of all the stars and all of the shows uh, r really creates uh, uh, an enhancement to, the, to, 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 to what that service is. But there's one part of this magazine that I'd like to talk about okay. even at greater length. In the back, we have a magazine section called Viewer Participation. Mm -hmm. and, and the thought here really is something very extraordinary, which is that we feel that by creating games and activities and puzzles and interactive devices to go along with some of the shows, that we can actually change what television is used for that we're actually going to create certain shows in the Disney Channel that by the use of this magazine will give the viewer a chance to participate or to be involved or actually interact with the program so that eventually while we'll still do a lot of things like Mary Poppins where you can just sit down and not be involved and enjoy yourself that we're developing another kind of programming that through this magazine will, it will, will be games or, or, or turning mm -hmm. television into an entirely different uh, medium and I think that the plans we have for this interactivity mm -hmm. and this magazine and what that can mean to the total experience of the channel may be one of the most important things that we're doing. That very well could be. I bet a lot of parents are smiling out there hearing you say that because we don't want our children just sitting in front of a TV all day. And it sounds like you're promising a lot of quality. And something I know our subscribers are really going to want to look for every month is your complete listing of mm -hmm. every hour every day yeah. for the whole month mm -hmm. and by looking at it i can see that you do have a real set schedule so that we can catch our favorite show every time of the day yes absolutely is um it best for younger kids to be watching it early in the day or what's the schedule like well it, it changes uh we start out uh with that preschool block mm -hmm. uh until mid-morning so that yes we're, we're, we're really approaching the kids at seven eight nine o'clock in the morning and then we then we move into an adult segment from mm -hmm. mid-morning to mid-afternoon where we have movies in our Epcot magazine so that really from 10 until about 3 uh, it's going to be right for people of all ages and then 3 o'clock being the traditional after school hour we'll go back into programming for younger people mm -hmm. which will take us through the dinner hour at which time again we go into uh, uh, programs and movies through the evening that are made for adults and that brings us pretty much to the close. What I really wanted to ask you was, what, are you, what do you think the subscribers are going to be saying about Disney? Well, uh, we've worked very hard on the concept of the channel, and I, I think we're proud of what we have, and, and I believe that, uh, that we're gonna have very satisfied subscribers. Uh, you know, one of the things that's true about our company is because Disney has such a strong image of what it is mm -hmm. uh, that we tend then to know what people expect of us we know what people want when they go to disneyland or go to a disney movie because people have a strong idea of what disney is and we know what that idea is i think we're uniquely able to serve our constituency so uh, we give we work for disney and we, we know what 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 disney is so i think the channel will 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 come very very close mm -hmm. to meeting people's expectations and I hope in some cases, if we, if we have the, the inspiration that I hope we do have, we have wonderful people working on this channel, maybe we can even exceed their expectations mm -hmm. as we grow and evolve through the years. Uh, I hope and, and, and expect and anticipate they'll be very happy with us. Great. Good luck. I have all the confidence in the world in you. I watch yeah. for my Disney Channel magazine that's mailed to us every month, yes, right? Indeed. Right to our door. Uh -huh. That's our cable choice for today, the Disney Channel, the, the world's first channel featuring Disney, all, all that we love. I'm Lucy Diss in Los Angeles. If you have any questions about Cable Choices, please write us. Now, what will your subscribers see when they turn on the Disney Channel? Well, here to help us find out is Peggy Christensen. Now, Peggy is the Vice President of Programming. Peggy, what do you think potential subscribers will want to know about the shows on the Disney Channel? Well, I think they'll want to know that Disney Channel is everything they expect from a television service with a Disney name on it. There'll be programs of the highest quality, ones that are wholesome, family-oriented, and highly entertaining. Disney's always been able to bridge the generation gap, and the Disney Channel will be no exception. One of the most exciting elements is our very ambitious lineup of original programming. We have programs aimed at all different age groups, starting with the very young. Disney's hit record, Mouser Size, inspired this daily half-hour get-up-and-go and get-your-body-in-motion get get program. At last, children can share a daily story adventure with their favorite inhabitants of the Hundred Acre Wood. 
lovable life-size characters share the fun every weekday in fanciful storybook settings on Welcome to Pooh Corner. You and Me, Kid, is a very special show based on a revolutionary old idea. This show is a daily opportunity for parents and their preschool-aged children to learn some fun ways to spend quality time together. Dreamfinders is a one-of-a-kind television show. It's targeted to 7 to 12-year-olds, but it will delight the entire family. At last, a game show for kids. But the kids won't be able to keep the other members of the family from joining in and having fun on contraption. In this game, memorable scenes from landmark Disney films are used to challenge the memory of the players, ages 7 to 12. If there's anyone in the world who can really make a wish come true, it's Disney. And that's just what we'll be doing on this magical show, Wish Upon a Star. The Scheme of Things is a daily half-hour documentary it explores the whys and hows of the world of science. Host Lloyd Bridges then takes Epcot's America America out across the country to give us a close-up look at some of the fascinating people who make America the special place it is. Producer Bill Burrard joins Disney to take viewers on exciting new adventures around the world in search of nature's most intriguing residents. A Disney Studio Showcase. Tapping the vast creative resources of the Disney Studio, this unique program examines a wide range of fascinating topics. Using the billion-dollar Epcot Center in Florida as the base, we present this entertaining magazine format show called Epcot Magazine. World Showcase, a spectacular realm within Epcot Center, is the major setting of special segments. Even Time Magazine picked up on this hot new team. They are... George Plimpton and Mickey Mouse. George is host of our spoof of the popular PBS series Masterpiece Theater. Our version features Disney cartoons in masterful performances. Now it's time to give you the answers to the questions that you'll be hearing from your customers. And here to help you get a grip on these answers are our three cable contestants. Salesperson Diane Landers, customer service rep Lori Shreve, and sales manager, Tom McGreevy. Now, here's how it works. I'm going to ask them a question, and then I'm going to pick one of them to answer it. They'll win several prizes along the way, and the one with the most correct answers will win this beautiful Mickey Mouse watch. All right, thank you. Are you ready? Here's the first question. What is the Disney Channel? Diane, want to try it? It's a pay television service featuring family programming. It's on 16 hours each day, seven days a week. Close, but not quite. Want to try it, Lori? It's a pay television service featuring family programming. It's on 16 hours each day, seven days a week. And it comes every month with a full-color Disney Channel magazine. Right. 16 hours a day of family entertainment and a monthly Disney Channel magazine. And for answering that question correctly, you win a special Disney Channel prize from a very special Disney Channel friend. <laughs> All right. Ready for the next question? Here we go. What time will the Disney Channel be on the air? Tom. From 7 in the morning to 11 at night, Eastern and Pacific time. Right. And for you, we have a prize from someone who's never quite sure what time it is. Oh. Oh. Aren't you going to be on the Disney Channel soon? Now, here's another question. Does a subscriber have to pay for the Disney Channel magazine? Diane, what's the answer? Well, no, it's free with the Disney Channel. Right again. And here's your prize. 100 
free Disney Channel magazine. <laughs> <clears throat> now, question number four. Can a subscriber not get the magazine and take some money off his or her bill every month? Lori, you want to try it? The magazine is really part of the programming. And since it has many enriching activities for both kids and adults, which tie to the shows, the shows just wouldn't be complete without it. Very good, Lori. And for answering this question about the Disney Channel magazine, your prize is... Oh. Okay. Now, for question number five. Isn't the Disney Channel just for kids? Is it all cartoons? Diane, what do you think? No, not at all. Well, it's entertainment for the entire family and will include new shows like Epcot Magazine and Epcot America America for both kids and adults. And there'll be Disney family features such as Mary Poppins and family movies from other studios. What about teenagers? Now, my teenager wouldn't go to a Disney movie. Tom, what about that? There will be something for everyone on the Disney Channel, and that means teenagers too. And remember, recent Disney movies such as Tex with Matt Dillon and Tron with Bruce Boxleitner have been big hits with teenagers. And these and other movies for teens will be on the Disney Channel. Right, Tom. And for being right, you win a brand new video arcade thriller from Disney, the Tron video game. Here you are. <laughs> Thank you. Now, question number seven. Uh, Laurie, how about you taking this one? All right. Will the Disney Channel have just Disney product? No. Although the Disney Channel will showcase Disney films and original Disney shows, it will also feature such movies as Black Beauty and Stevie Wonder's The Secret Life of Plants. On to question number eight. Will I see movies like Star Wars on the Disney Channel? Diane, will I? I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Well, isn't Disney trying to be really different with the Disney Channel? That's right. Duplication is all right in some things. <laughs> but not in a pay TV service. So, you will never be showing your subscribers anything on the Disney Channel that's playing on any other pay service. And that's why the Disney Channel is the perfect add-on service. Now, question number nine. Will any of these non-Disney films be R-rated? No. no. That's right. The Disney Channel is a family channel, and that means programming that's safe for the whole family. And, you know, we have a special watchdog to guard our programming. And be sure that it's just G and a few PG movies. Safe, secure programming. That's what you can offer your subscribers with the Disney Channel. All right. Question number 10. Will I see Bambi and Snow White on the Disney Channel? Lori, how about it? I don't think so. But I know a lot of Disney classics will be on the Disney Channel. I think I saw Dumbo and... Uh, uh, Mary Poppins and Alice in Wonderland. And I'm sure there'll be more. There certainly are. Films like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Old Yeller, Herbie, The Love Bug. There are over 160 of them in all. And remember... Always talk with your customers about what's coming up this month. Once you've told him what he will be seeing on the Disney Channel, he'll forget all about what he may not see. Now, question number 11. Will I see Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck cartoons on the Disney Channel? Yes. yes. Uh, Mickey, 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 thank you very much, but uh, we'll catch it later, okay? Sorry. All right. 
Question number 12. Will the Disney Channel just be reruns of old Disney TV shows? Won't I already have seen what's on the Disney Channel? Uh, Diane, how about you giving this one a try? Well, it seems to me that most of the programming is new. Well, I think I heard that there would be 13 new shows, and if I remember my Disney trivia, nearly all of the Disney library has only been played on the wonderful world of Disney show. So most kids haven't seen very much of it. And remember, most of the Disney films are timeless. So watching Davy Crockett is as much fun today as it was 25 years ago. That's right. Thank you. And since your answers were so good, and speaking of Davy, I have a very special prize for both of you. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you look wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Now, here's another question. I've been watching Disney free on TV for years. Why should I pay for it now? Who wants to try this one? Lori? Well, I think the wonderful world of Disney was only one hour, wasn't it? And the Disney Channel is 16 hours each day, seven days a week. And there's a free monthly magazine. That's right. But that brings us to the next question. Why would I want to watch 16 hours a day of Disney? Tom? I don't think you would. Any more than you'd watch 16 hours a day of any other service. Or of sports, or movies, or whatever. But on the Disney Channel, there'll be enough different shows for each member of the family. So that everyone will find something to enjoy several times a day. But some of our subscribers will be afraid that their children will just watch more TV. Uh, what about it, Diane? Well, isn't the point here that with the Disney Channel, kids and adults will be watching better TV, not just more? And they'll be watching together as a family. Exactly. And that's one reason that we give our subscribers this Disney Channel magazine. So that they can plan their TV viewing and use the activities in the magazine to get more out of the time that they spend watching. Thank you. Now, for the 16th and final question. Will the Disney Channel be just entertainment? Lori. No. Walt Disney always taught while he entertained. I remember seeing films like Donald in Math Magic Land and The Living Desert when I was in school. Won't the Disney Channel be like that? Won't it teach while it entertains? Indeed it will. And to present you with a prize for answering that question so well, here's someone who needs all the education he can get with a certificate for you for one free month of the Disney Channel. Thanks, Goofy. And thank you, Laurie. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Diane. I hope you've all enjoyed our quiz. And I think that everyone has done so well that I am going to give all three of our contestants a brand new Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, thank you. There you are. Yes. Wear them proudly. And I'd like to give you a prize, too. So, to get your Mickey Mouse keychain, ask your supervisor to give you a quiz sheet, fill it out, and return it to me. Now, as I said a few minutes ago, to a great degree, the success of the Disney Channel depends on you, on your ability to take this information we've given you and communicate it to your subscribers. But most of all, on your commitment to being part of the Disney family. And that means remembering that when a subscriber speaks to you, he or she expects and deserves to get the same courtesy that he or she would get at Disneyland or Walt Disney World. To that caller, you are Disney. So, welcome to the Disney family. Welcome to that group of people who, for over 60 years, have been presenting to America the finest in family entertainment. Welcome to the Disney Channel. Announcing what everyone has been waiting for. 
But Disney Channel. Oh, yes, definitely. Coming your way soon. It's everything you've ever imagined and more. Call your cable operator for local availability. Announcing the Mystery Channel. The History Channel. The Adventure Channel. The Health Channel. The Nature Channel. The Family Channel. The Learning Channel. The Fantasy Channel. The Channel of Tomorrow. The Disney Channel. It's everything you've ever imagined and more. Call your cable operator for local availability. For everyone who's ever wanted to fly, who believes that dreams come true, who's wanted the good guys to win, who's rooted for the underdog, wished upon a star or believed in magic, who's looked forward to tomorrow. In other words, for all of us, the Disney Channel. It's everything you've ever imagined and more. Call your cable operator for local availability. This is the dawn of a new era for cable television. This year, the Disney Channel arrives on the scene. Here comes the new reality, the wonderful Disney film library is just part of the picture. The Disney Channel will also present an enriching lineup of brand new hits. That's pretty good. Imagineers are creating a wide range of innovations for the whole family. New Puppetronics. Let's change places, if you agree. We'll change places, I'll be you, you be me. New Epcot-inspired shows. New adventures in science and nature. New dramatic series. The new Disney Channel magazine. A cut-out, fill-in, play-along adventure all its own featured monthly as a big part of our approach to interactive programming. A unique Disney concept that makes this the Do It Together channel. 
plus acclaimed feature films from around the world, specially selected for family viewing. I got a story that's gonna knock your socks off. That's me. Gosh, I'm a cute little fella, aren't I? At last, there's a place for grown-ups and kids to share quality viewing time together. And the Disney Channel is that place. Channel. Everything you've ever imagined and more. Available in selected areas through your local cable operator. Announcing what everyone has been waiting for. The Disney Channel. Coming your way soon. It's everything you've ever imagined and more. Call your cable operator for local availability. Good morning. It's Monday, April 18, and this is the new Disney Channel. I'm Ron Miller, president of Walt Disney Productions. Mickey Mouse is here in master control to switch on the largest pay television launch in U.S. history. Beginning now, 400 outstanding cable systems offer this new service to 4 million homes in 43 states. This is not just a children's channel, but an entertainment information service for the entire family. We begin with outstanding feature films and 13 new program series produced exclusively for the channel. First, a preview of those shows and a news report on the star-studded launch festivities which led up to this moment. So Mickey, it's time at last. Push the master switch and light up the new Disney satellite. Okay, everybody. Here it comes your gang three. Give me a little more on three, Donald. Yuck yuck Welcome aboard. This is Master Control. <laughs> Let's call that mouse control. <laughs> this is the nerve center of the Disney Channel satellite 162 miles above the Earth. Look, if they can put a man on the moon, they can certainly put Donny Osmond in orbit, right? Uh -huh. Not to mention our intrepid crew here. Right now, they're hard at work making sure all the systems are go for this new kind of television, the Disney Channel. And while they're going through the paces, it gives us a chance to take a sneak peek at some of the exciting new shows the Disney Channel is about to beam down all across America. Attention all personnel. 16 minutes to Disney Channel programming. And counting. Well, it won't be long now. In fact, right now, Mickey Mouse is standing by the Disney Channel Earth Station. Well, there he is. And he's ready to throw that switch that starts the Disney Channel rolling. Hey, you look a little nervous down there, Mick. 
<laughs> well, I don't blame you. This is your big day. Well, time and tide wait for no mouse. So let's begin our look at the Disney Channel at the beginning. The guy who started it all, Mickey Mouse, and his morning cartoon show, Good Morning Mickey. Wake up, it's a wonderful morning. We're all but a wonderful day. Good morning, and good morning, Mickey. We're gonna get up and have a wonderful day. Here's another great way to start off your day on the right foot. Hand arm, and back, and shoulders. Mouse or size? Y'all ready to mouse your size? Yeah! Get into shape with Mickey, Minnie, and the whole Disney gang. It's a fun-filled family workout. Plus, timely tips on health and nutrition for everyone. Don't you know that sugar promotes tooth decay? You don't have to be a kid to enjoy mouse-sizing. Weekday mornings, don't just exercise, mouse-size. Well, there's no doubt about it. The Disney Channel's making news and noise. Let's switch down to Earth for this update from our roving reporter, Gary Owens. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. You're looking good. Very her suit tonight up there in space. Well, this is Gary Owens right here in front of the Disney Studios in beautiful downtown Burbank, where, of course, inside, they're making noise like you've never heard before. All fun noises for the new Disney Channel. Hundreds of celebrities and press are inside, so let's go in and meet them right now, shall we? Oh, my favorite Western couple in the whole world, ladies and gentlemen, Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. Dale, good evening. Good evening. What an exciting thing this is. Isn't this wonderful? Well, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they ever made anything that I didn't like. Oh, I think it's great. I'm certainly going to be watching it. I think Disney movies are good for lots of younger kids and hopefully sometimes the older audiences, too. I am looking forward to this one because there are some Disney things that I've missed and I want to go over them. Anybody can do it. The creativity of Disney will be able to pull it off. The Disney Channel is not <laughs> the fun continues here at Disney. And now, back upstairs to you, Donnie. Oh, thank you, Gary. I guess that's what the Disney Channel is all about. Here's another fun example. An old Disney favorite, Winnie the Pooh. Deep in the hundred acre wood. Here's a new look at your favorite characters from the hundred acre wood. There's Pooh. Hello, Piglet. Tigger and Rabbit. Whoa! Hold your horses there, Buddy Roo. Eeyore. Probably you'd rather be alone. Piglet. Hello, Pooh. And the narrator. Hello. Welcome to Pooh Corner. The people behind the voices recording another episode of Welcome to Pooh Corner, an all-new series produced especially for the Disney Channel. Leave room for the action on the soundstage to cover it. Okay, stand by. Which part of hopping is hard for you? Oh, I don't know. Um... Oh, going up, I guess. That's the hard part. Going up and uh, coming down. Going up and coming down? Well, that doesn't leave much in the way of easy parts, does it? What are you, what are you doing on fall? You can all be replaced by Mel Blanc. You know that. <laughs> the moment of truth, when the performers become the critics and a pretty good audience for... Welcome to Pooh Corner. Goofy tells me this next show is his favorite, so I'm going to let Goofy roll the tape. Go ahead. Coming at you, Donnie. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, and a mo. Oh, my gosh! Whoa! Hail police! Oh my goodness. Somebody want to push the right button in there for me? <laughs> now you know why they call him Goofy. Okay, here's a show they call Contraption. On your mark. Get set. 
What's action-packed, fast-paced, and full of surprises? It's Contraption, the Disney Channel's new game show. We've got some great prizes, some wonderful kids who are here to win them. Test your knowledge with questions on Walt Disney's best-loved classics. Join the non-stop fun. Play along with all the contestants. It's kids and games galore. So hold on to your seats. It's coming your way. Catch it. Contraption. Everyone knows how fond of animals Walt Disney was. And many of his shows and documentaries reflected his love of nature. Well, the Disney Channel wants all animal lovers to pay attention to this. Here comes adventure, excitement, discovery. Here comes the Disney Channel's new animal world. Bill Burrard's award-winning wildlife series in a completely new format that'll entertain and delight young and old alike. Each week, a new half hour filled with fascinating facts about the animal kingdom and an animal quiz to test your knowledge. And remember, be kind to animals. It's good for everybody. A must-see new Animal World. One of the fringe benefits of being entertained by the Disney Channel is the fact that we can learn a lot just by watching. Isn't that right, Donald? You're slugging. Right. And here are three brand new shows that do just that. Looking for fun, excitement, information? It's all here on the Disney Channel's Gateway to the World, Epcot Magazine. It's unbelievable. Fantastic. It's neat. Every show. I'm Michael Young. And I'm Lynn Redgrave. You'll spend a special entertaining hour with host Michael Young and his celebrity co-host of the week, exploring a worldwide variety of activities and adventures. From gourmet cooking to outer space, from the latest in fashions to family relations. Fascinating. A lively series of colorful programs, like nothing you've seen before. Designed with you in mind, your eyes and ears on the world. Epcot Magazine. Here's another show that lets us explore and investigate the scheme of things. Host Jim MacArthur invites you and your curiosity to explore the fantastic world of science in The Scheme of Things. We'll continue searching for the biggest, the smallest, the most astonishing surprises in nature, and we'll discover how they fit into the scheme of things. The ordinary becomes extraordinary. The mysterious is brought into focus. To explore, to understand, to learn. All these things are in the scheme of things. And another new program that introduces us to new faces and new places. Epcot America America. From border to border, sea to shining sea, this is the land, the people, a nation at work and play. This is Epcot America America. Bridges is your host in this hour-long celebration of the people, the places, the spirit of America. Epcot, America, America. If you're one of those people who think that Disney cartoons are a lot of kid stuff, well, I've got an expert who'll change your mind in a hurry. Let's go to New York now and our thinking man's thinking man, George Plimpton. Can you hear me, George? Oh, yes, I can hear you, but, you know, I'm not quite so sure I want to be known as the thinking man's anything. You know, there are times when I prefer not to think at all. George Plimpton, author, lecturer, Mr. Gray Matter, a non-thinker. <laughs> what about all those books I see behind you? Oh, these, you know, I didn't write all these books. They, uh, they come from the book clubs. A friend sent me uh, books. Um, uh, computers sent me a dozen of just about everything. <laughs> You're putting me on. In fact, I bet your show on the Disney Channel is a put-on, right? Oh, no, not at all. In fact, when you see Masterpiece Theater, you'll find there's more to Disney animation than meets the vitreous humor. You see, we discover the very essence of the animated cartoon. We strip away the ink and the paint and the dialogue, and we lay bare the art form to its intrinsic marrow. We examine and probe and dissect the innermost recesses of the animated cartoon, and we do that with voracious curiosity revealing finite truths and analogies therein. Oh, so you are a thinking man's thinking man. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know about that. 
You know, most of the time I just make up these things as I go along. It's amazing what you can get away with when people think you're a thinking man's thinking man. <laughs> oh, look here. Here's the schedule. I'll see you on Mousterpiece Theater. Well, thank you, George. You know, he must be smart because he's reading the Disney Channel magazine. It's a lot more than just a program guide. Inside are stories about the shows and stars, and puzzles and games, activities that let you play right along with some of the shows as they're being broadcast. And it's free to all subscribers. It's a nice way to get more out of television, especially with shows like this one. Caring. Sharing. That's you and me, kids. A special time on the Disney Channel for you and that special little one in your life. Just you and me, kids. We're quite okay. Every day is a magic day on the Disney Channel, and there is one special half hour called You and Me, Kid, that's filled with fun, laughter, and a wonderful chance for you and that special little person to use your imagination. Understanding together, doing together. With guest appearances by celebrities and their children. You and Me, Kid. That's you and me. Yes, you and me. You and me. Many of the new programs on the Disney Channel are taking giant steps in new production techniques. One is called Dream Finders, a special effects dream come true. On the sound stages of Dream Finders, imagination is the call to arms. Fantasy becomes reality as the talented team of artists and technicians eagerly answers the call. This is a character called Figment. You know, you actually feel that he's a living, breathing character. That's, that's the effect that we want. That's what's going to make him different. Veteran actor Jack Crucian. Dream Finders as a show is one of the most interesting things I've ever been involved with because we are not only going to entertain, but we're also going to educate a little bit. Journey through the world of imagination in Dream Finders. Now here's a show that would have come in handy when I was a kid. This one's called Wish Upon a Star. I tell you, with nine kids in our family, I would have wished for my own bathroom, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you mind if I go ahead and play this one? Thank you. Here we go. Makes no difference who you are. If you've ever hoped or dreamed or wished upon a star, here's the show that makes dreams come true. Wishes do come true. Here at Wish Upon a Star, kids like you get a chance to make a wish and then live it. Wish Upon a Star. Wishing is one way to make dreams come true. Doing is another. Like the young performers in Coming On. From college campuses across America, the stars of tomorrow are coming on. Host Jimmy Allen and his traveling spotlight showcase a glittering cavalcade of performers on campus today. Rolling, 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 rolling on a river, rolling on a river. From rock to bop, from jazz to razzmatazz, from the urbane to the slightly insane, Today's up-and-coming young talent, that's Coming On. If those newcomers in Coming On really work at it, they just might make it. Who knows? We may see them on this show someday. Disney Studio Showcase. Roll, please. From the sound stages of Hollywood and around the world, a close-up look at the people who bring motion pictures to life. This is what we're going to, right? The Disney Channel takes you behind the scenes, showcasing the movie makers of today and tomorrow. All right, stand by. SW 433, take one, smash in. Here it comes, Joe. It's not enough glass. Why don't we try the one we did this morning? 
now the technology is there to make some of those terrific camera moves and to get those fantastic shots and to do some of those incredibly visual sequences. I don't know if you can ever quite come close to what you can do with animation in that way. An entertaining hour of entertainment in the making. Disney's Studio Showcase. Watching how movies are made has always been one of my favorite pastimes, next to the movies themselves. And when it comes to the movies on the Disney Channel, well, at my house, this is what we call the good stuff. The Disney Channel Movies, presenting a whole spectrum of great films for exciting family entertainment. Mystery, history, comedy, drama, science fiction, true life adventure, animation. You'll see Tron. Black Beauty. The day the Earth stood still. Dumbo. Hans Christian Andersen. Treasure Island. Pride of the Yankees, Popeye, The Living Desert, Weathering Heights, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, so dear to my heart, Guys and Dolls, The Shaggy Dog, Island at the Top of the World, The Black Hole, Mary Poppins, Many more super films to be announced. The Disney Channel Movies. And that, as they say, is just the beginning. In the months ahead, you'll see more great movies for the whole family, more new shows that are fun to watch, easy on the eyes, and packed with the things that you want to know. The people at the Disney Channel want you to know that that's a promise, a commitment to bringing you and your family the kind of quality television you'll be glad to welcome into your home. All personnel, one minute to Disney Channel programming. Donnie. Will you start the audible countdown, please? Well, you want me to start the countdown? Jeez, this is an honor. <laughs> okay, we all set? All systems ready to go? Okay, you ready to roll programs in there? Great, okay, here we go. Mickey Mouse, Earth Station Mickey, stand by to commence countdown. Mouse Control, this is Earth Station Mickey. You are cleared to commence countdown, Donnie. Here we go. Ready? 30. 29, The Disney Channel is on the air. Come and take 